One of the strangest looking bats is the wrinkle-faced bat. These wrinkles, which make it look like a creepy old man, are possibly used to channel fruit juice into its mouth, or, more probably, to modify ultrasound for echolocation and or sexual selection. These rare bats live from Mexico to northern South America and are found in both primary and secondary tropical forests, but also in disturbed habitats. Wrinkle-faced bats feed on fruit by sucking juice rather than taking big bites. They're more into smoothies than fruit platters. It is also known to even eat the seeds of fruits. Recently, it was discovered in Costa Rica that the wrinkle-faced bat form leks, or sexual playgrounds, which are more well known among birds like mannequins. In this location, which doesn't have any particularly outstanding features, male bats gather together in an area not more than 10 meters across. This is called the arena. There's one. One over here, and so on, with up to 27 males in this small area, all hanging and praying for females to come by. And the males with the right stuff get to mate. The males have this flap of skin that they pull up over part of their face to reveal more white on their throat. This makes them extra sexy. It's like it's pre-adapted for robbing banks. Curiously, males have two semi-transparent window coverings where the folds cover the eyes. Besides the bright white on the throat that may play a role in sexual selection, the male's chin emits a strong musky odor. All in all, male lex may be a sexual competition of ultrasound, visual cues, and musky cologne. Wrinkle-faced bats roost alone or in small numbers, often in same-sex groups and usually in dense foliage. Now without the bright lights, you could see them much more active, picking up all kinds of signals with their ears. Lex are little known in mammals, and this is the first case in bats that has been studied but there are another eight species of bats worldwide that may also have legs. So the males do all the work of perching, calling, putting out musk, but after mating, the males don't help with the young. It's too bad we can't hear the crazy amount of bat calling in the leg. We just aren't adapted to hear that high. Dr. Bernal Rodriguez, who first discovered this lek in the high mountains near San Ramon, Costa Rica, sums up their behavior. Entonces, cuando ustedes ven al macho el, en el video moviendo las alas, al mismo tiempo está emitiendo ultrasonido que nosotros no percibimos, y las hembras en algún momento llegan y, y se perchan a la par del macho y se da la cópula. An outstanding morphological feature of the males is the ribbing on the wings which probably helps make sounds to attract the females. <laughs>